Okay, see Lindelof. Thought I'd go over some more TI Inspire stuff, and this is really, really, <clears throat> excuse me, good, good stuff. So we're on our TI Inspire, and I want to talk today really quickly about this get denominator and get numerator commands. <clears throat> what I'm doing now in this series is I'm trying to find out, I'm working my way through the guidebook, and I'm trying to figure out which functions would I use most often. Not which ones are most difficult, but which ones would I use most often. So I'm starting this series, and hopefully uh, as you guys read them that you'll agree. If you don't, please give me some feedback and tell me which angle I should pursue, and I'll gladly do that. So let's go to do this. I'm on my TI Inspire cast. I happen to be on a CX. So here's that guy. Uh, let's take a look. So this is what I did. In the interest of time, I went through this myself. Here's greatest common uh, divisor. And I went through this. I like it. It's fine. It's, it's good. It works. And I thought, well, what if I wanted to do this? What if I wanted to do 1 plus, I'm sorry, 1 over x plus 1 over y? And I just plugged it into the uh, calculator and it came back and just gave me my question back as my answer, which I knew was not a good thing. So I started to research that. So I found get denominator. So I just tried it. Simple thing here. What's the denominator of 1 third? And it gave me that. And then I did this. Now notice I did not separate these with a comma. I separated them with a plus sign. So get denominator. I was like, you know what? I know that the <clears throat> that the best common denominator to use here would be 15. So I knew what the answer was going to be, and I just wanted to test this out. Came out just the way I had, had anticipated. Get numerator of the same problem, and there it is. Now if you put this numerator over this denominator, you have the answer to one third plus one fifth, don't you? So I thought that was really cool. <clears throat> Just went a little farther to see how sophisticated would this thing be. And I've got to here get denominator of 4x over 4 times 4 times the quantity x plus 1 plus 7 over 4x. And got this as my denominator. <clears throat> now, this is what I wanted to show you. That I can go back over this. I can pick this up like this. And so can you. You can pick this up with your cursor. I screwed it up a little bit. I want to get the whole thing. You can pick it up like this and just hit Control C for copy. Use your down cursor. Make sure you get all the way to here. And then put Control V for give me another version of that thing. And then what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to go to here. And I'm just, see what I'm doing? I just walk my cursor back here. And I'm just going to backspace over it. And put numerator. So put N U M N. Holy crap, can you spell? N U M. It went from italics to standard print, so I know that my calculator is recognizing this as something. Hit enter. That's really cool, right? That's really cool because if I put this over this, I get the answer to this to this question here, don't I? So this can save you tons of time, so I thought this would be really, really helpful. This is something you need to practice a little bit. You need to re uh, read your domain warning sometimes and make sure you haven't created something a little bit different than what you had anticipated. But I think that this is really, really a good command that you should know. Uh, if there are other ones that you know of that work great, can you just like hit me up and, and tell me, please, and I'll share them. Um, or if there's some way that you think I can do this more easily, tell me that. Or if you think there's a better use for this uh, command, please let me know. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and your comments are always welcome.